What is it about pushing hard into the things that we love that feels so satisfying? My name is Tara. I make videos about emotional intelligence every day. My mission is to inspire you to take a hold of your life and make the very, very most out of it. Because I think the world will be better with you in it, actually contributing. The aggressiveness to which we pursue our passions is based on, I believe, the affirmations that we go through on the daily and also the amount of work that we're willing to put in. Meaning, the affirmations aren't just what you do when you wake up in the morning. The affirmations aren't what you do when you aren't just what you do when you write down your goals the night before. It's also how you talk to people. To the point where sometimes it can feel like a manipulation of the context. It can feel like a manipulation of perhaps other people's emotions. And to a degree, it absolutely is. It's almost psychotic, hopefully. Hopefully, the bigger why behind trying to pursue is to help people. Hopefully, it's in the pursuit of something that's service-driven. Because there's the very thin line between good and evil, between something that's moral and something that's just corrupt and self-centered, narcissistic. And narcissistic isn't necessarily evil either, in my philosophy, to be honest. As long as it's directed towards service. I mean, in the scheme of humanity, what does it matter? But as long as, as there is grace in what we are doing, as long as that's baked in, I genuinely believe that a manipulation of the environment, an understanding of your catalytic nature, to use that far outweighs trying to passively blend in to society. Meaning that if there's a conversation that's occurring and the conversation is not really of your interest, you have one of two things that you can do. You can either inject what you are interested in, which is hopefully helping that other person and helping yourself through the conversation, through affirming your beliefs, your goals, or you can step away from that conversation and deprive that person and yourself the opportunity of maybe coming to a more beautiful conclusion in that moment, in that span of time. Can seem very selfish. A lot of the pursuits of phenomenal people in life have been very, very selfish. If you really think about it, the fame that's associated with it, the money, the positions, the leverage, all of that, very selfish. But why, why pursue such selfishness? Why, why be okay with people judging in a negative light? My belief is that the greatest leaders in the world actually just embody their ideologies. They are ideas. The movie that comes to mind is V for Vendetta. If you haven't seen it, highly suggest checking it out. But essentially this, this person, this human being forged in his life through difficulty, through whatever, I'm not gonna spoil the movie, becomes an idea. And in becoming that idea, perhaps accomplishes some of the greatest changes in the world. A sacrifice, essentially letting go of your humanity for the sake of an ideology that you believe should be a part of humanity. Strange. Difficult, one of the greatest sacrifices any human can ever make. Probably one of the great, greatest manifestations of being a catalyst in general. Me being someone that tries to inspire you, hopefully someone that wants to change your life, someone that wants to actually have an impact, someone that wants to have freedom in life. Hopefully I become that catalytic individual, either through the camera or in conversations. So aggressiveness is required. It's very much required in order to get to that level, in order to compete at that level, in order to make the most out of our human life, to have a little bit of aggressiveness. And, and everyone has it in different ways. So some people really value their intelligence and so they're aggressively intelligent and compete over that intelligence. Some people really value their social skills and compete over space and social environments or do it the graceful way where they're, they're more in tune with the room and reading the room and making sure that the right people pay attention, sure. Some people might do it through their artwork, being uh, provocative, right? In, in their appearance, maybe. But aggressiveness is really required in order for us to get our point across. So if you're someone that's timid, like myself in certain situations, if you're someone that says, ah, forget it, I'll just, I'll just let them win. If you're someone that doesn't care about winning or losing, and this comes from someone that's never cared about winning or losing. I always care more about whether or not people are having fun in a game. 
This is coming from someone that is trying to talk to myself. This is one of the affirmations. These hundred and something videos, these 200 videos that I've made so far, probably all the videos that I make throughout my entire life are going to be affirmations for the person that I'm trying to become. And hopefully they inspire you to do the same in some way in your life. But consider it. If you're someone that's timid, if you're someone that, that doesn't have that I need to win philosophy, how big are your goals, man, woman, them? How much do you really believe in your goals? Are they service motivated goals? Are they, are they something that will last the test of time? Has your philosophy strengthened enough? Have you, have you, have you compressed and put enough stress in your philosophy that it has weight over time enough to warrant the aggressiveness? It's a very difficult question to pose, but alas, something that we can only really feel. Some of you that are watching this video feel the answer right now. I want you to step into it if it's yes. And I want you to keep contemplating if it's no. Because there is something inside of each of us, I genuinely believe it, that deserves to be aggressive. Good or bad, subjective, really. Aggressive, necessary. And we'll only get there if we believe in it hard enough. Or if we're just assholes to begin with, right? So that's, that's, the, that's the flip side of the coin. If we don't have the graces, this, this is particularly a message uh, to, to people that, like myself, have spent a lot of time in life being like, you know what, I'll just sit here, I'll make people comfortable, I won't say the weird things, I will make a fool out of myself, I'll hunch, if you're a really tall person that has great ideas, but you hunch to make other people feel better, I've done this, sub I've done this subconsciously, for years and I didn't realize it until I looked at my posture enough I didn't realize it until I looked at, I looked into the dynamics of my family enough to stand tall is an aggressive sign to use your entire height will you do it to domineer people or will you do it to encourage others to stand up tall as well that's the real questions the real questions, questions of life. So you might watch these videos and think to yourself, that's a lot of shit to rub. It is, it's a lot of shit. And as I, as I tune more into this to Robify thing, as I tune more into my message and my, my conviction behind my message, it gets in my belief more and more difficult for others to avoid my message when sitting down with them or at least to avoid feeling the message when I'm in a room with people. And so that's incredibly aggressive. And it can come off as, as cocky or overconfident or whatever. My thing is, listen, I'm putting in the work. I'm not gonna stop anytime soon. And there's very few people in the room that are doing the same. Does that make me better than them? Hell no. It, it does not make you better than anyone else if you're putting in the work. There is no better or worse. It's as subjective as good or evil. But it will make you more confident. It will make you more precise in your ideologies. And it comes with affirmations. So if you're in the beginning of this, of this process, which I was about a year ago, if you're at the beginning of this process, set a large, audacious goal. Make sure that you have a strong enough why for why society, why humanity, why your community, whatever needs this thing. Why you are the right person to give them that. And then start telling fucking everybody. Start telling your mom, start telling your brothers, start telling your friends, start telling your uncles, your coworkers, whoever it is. Those affirmations that we do regularly about our larger goals not only reminds us of why we want to do it, because of the way that we convey the message, because of the looks that we get, because of the, the feedback from perhaps the universe, but it also actually makes it a reality. Putting it out into the universe makes it a reality. So have those conversations. And if you can't have those conversations, Find ways to have them. 
Ask those hard, awkward questions at a family party. Not maybe in front of a bunch of people. I generally stick to a room of three or less. Because I think the, the deepest conversations happen that way. I get to judge basically where someone's coming from. Not in a negative sense, but really in like an analytic, like, how can I actually help this person? How can I, what can I learn from this person's philosophy, the way that they convey themselves, the family that they came from, their environment growing up, right? My channel is about emotional intelligence. I am never going to sit here and tell you I know everything about humanity, nature, life. I don't know everything. Hopefully I never get to the point where I think I know everything because I'll probably be fucking wrong. What I'm here to do is try to make this soul, this body into almost a directed force, a directed ethereal force that will carry power and, and gain momentum and inertia, almost like magic. And I hope that through this video, you can feel that energy. You can feel that commitment. And I hope that gives you some, some motivation to find that in yourself as well, or at least to nurture it. I've said before, if you went through the hard process of knowing who you are and knowing what you want to do, you are already going to be someone that other people look to by virtue of you just necessarily going through a more difficult process than most people. This is a video about consistency that I made in the woods walking and it's a rainy day. It's been a beautiful rainy week here in Ohio and the rain for some reason, it chills me out, but it gets me so amped up too. I was born on the day of a flood. You know, well now you know, gets me going. If you have a second, check out this video and smashing that thumbs up button helps me out a lot. Subscribing helps me out a lot. Sharing this video with other business people, other people that are, that want that, that oomph in life. Share this with them. Maybe it'll hit them like it hit you. Actualize your potential catalyst. This world needs you and I believe in you. Take care.